Welcome home, master. I've been waiting for you all day. It feels like you were gone for an eternity. Nine hours is a long time to be away from you. <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, you picked up my favorite fried chicken. Yes, I forgive you now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Mm hmm What was it you wanted to talk to me about? What? You have a business trip coming up. So where are we going? I can't come with you? Why not? I am a perfectly well-behaved cat girl. I'm clean, tidy, and polite. What kind of hotel would turn me away? But master, how can you leave me behind? I know I can take care of myself. I know how to work the stove now without burning myself, and I'm able to order delivery for anything I need. But I can barely handle being separated from you for a few hours, let alone a whole week. I'm going to die of loneliness. I'll surely perish from neglect. I am not being dramatic. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine. I get that you have no choice because of your stupid job. <sighs> but if that's the case, my favorite fried chicken is not enough to appease me. I demand all of your attention from now until you have to leave for the trip. Every moment you're home, I want you to focus on me. So, start petting me now. If you don't cooperate with my demands, then I'm going to keep meowing at the top of my lungs whenever you try to sleep, and I'll smack your face if you try to use earplugs. And, if I'm not satisfied before you leave, you may come home to all the curtains ripped to shreds. You wouldn't do that. I know you're too kind-hearted to ever get rid of me. You took me in, after all. Out of every cat you could have chosen, you picked me. The ratty, dirty, and frail little thing outside in a torn-up box. I wasn't exactly pretty back then. My fur was all matted. You could have taken in a purebred, but you picked me. And have never even yelled at me once. You may not think you're that noble of a person, but to me, you're my angel. So you should take my warning seriously and start giving me affection now. <laughs> yes, petting my head is a good start. <laughs> yes, as long as you give me what I want, I promise to be a good kitty for you while you're gone. <laughs> Chin scratches are very much appreciated as well. <laughs>
Hey, master. My precious master. You're not going on that trip with anyone else, are you? I was just wondering. I really would hate it if you went with anyone else. Especially that girl who keeps texting you about non-work-related stuff. Yes, she's the reason why I slapped her phone into the sink that one time. I thought maybe if you couldn't respond to her texts, she'd get the message. <laughs> you like me best anyway, right? I don't like it when you give your affection to those who don't deserve it. You're so perfect. People think they can take advantage of you. Like your ex-girlfriend, for example. Yes, she always treated you poorly. How's that scratch I gave her, by the way? Did it scar up that pretty little face of hers? Well, I figure you must still run into her occasionally, since she works at that cafe you like. Oh, she quit recently? What a shame. Of course I didn't do anything else to her. I can't even leave the house unless I'm by your side. You gave me a rule to not go outside because it's dangerous. And... I'm your good kitty, so I'd never break one of your rules. But, if that co-worker of yours gets too close, then maybe invite her over so I can give her a warning scratch too. It's not like I can give you your own collar to show you are mine. It's so hard worrying that you might get taken advantage of again. Even if I rub my scent all over you, humans generally can't smell it. It only makes sure other animal girls leave you alone. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you like me the most. I just hope that's true. Not that I don't believe you, but... I'm feeling awfully sad and lonely at the idea of not being able to see you for so long. I think I'll come down with more affection from you. So be sure to spoil me lots before you leave, okay? <laughs> <laughs>